Hey everyone, Jim Branscombe from Cinematic Void here, back once again with In the Mouth of Cinematicness. This is a sub-series of the Cinematic Void blog where I talk about films that I watched growing up that had a huge impact on me and eventually influenced and, you know, were monumental in the creation of what became Cinematic Void. For today's episode, I'm actually not talking about movies, but I'm talking about two very beloved Halloween specials that I'm sure a lot of people that are around my age group or a little bit older, a little bit younger, definitely saw on TV growing up. And I'm talking about Garfield's Halloween Adventure, aka Garfield in Disguise. Garfield's Halloween Adventure, sponsored by McDonald's. And It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, sponsored by Peter Paul Cadbury. I don't remember when I saw either of those specials for the first time, but I do know at some point in the late 80s, my parents taped them off of TV. They played back-to-back -back on WBL, which was a Baltimore affiliate of CBS. We'll run that baseball free agent list past you again tonight at 11. I'm pretty sure I watched it live as well as taping it and just remember just loving both of them you know Garfield had all the scary ghost pirates and like the musical numbers and Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown had a, like a cool Halloween party and you got to see Linus just kind of waiting around for a kind of cool idea of a Halloween deity to rise from the pumpkin patch which was the Great Pumpkin. There he is! It's the Great Pumpkin! He's rising up out of the pumpkin patch! Once this was taped, I know I probably watched it a few more times during Halloween season, but as a kid, I was quickly discovering that I was a Halloween kid. I think there, in the 80s, there's two types of kids. You were either a Halloween kid or you were a Christmas kid. I'm sure there's some of you who were both, but I was really all in for Halloween. And it didn't ever feel like Halloween until I watched both of those specials as a kid. But I was also finding myself watching those specials not during Halloween season because I just wanted that Halloween feeling year round. Recently, I went back to my parents' house and I was kind of cleaning out my old room and just going through stuff and throwing stuff away. And I came across this VHS tape. This is the VHS tape my parents taped off of WBL Baltimore with Garfield's Halloween Adventure followed by It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Besides Garfield and the Great Pumpkin on this tape, it also has You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, as well as Baby, The Secret of the Lost Legend, which is a dinosaur movie because as a kid I was obsessed with dinosaurs. I think the only thing I liked more than Halloween back in the day was dinosaurs. All I wanted to do was find my very own dinosaur. A unique event happens. Looks like a brontosaurus. When history catches up with us. <gasps> a desperate last attempt by mankind to save the last of the dinosaurs. <laughs> And I was really excited to find this. And I brought it back to LA with me and I decided like, you know what? I wanna just see what the quality is on this tape. So I digitized it, or at least those two specials. And I was kind of surprised by how good the quality was. There was one bit of like tracking where the tape kind of like glitched out, which was obviously where I was fast forwarding from the end of Garfield's Halloween Adventure to get to It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Although neither special is particularly frightening. Although probably as a kid, the, the pirate ghost chasing Garfield and Odie around the house and then out to the water was probably slightly terrifying, but not really traumatic. But both of these specials were kind of a little gateway into getting the horror movies because, you know, Halloween and horror go hand in hand. And even as I was getting into more gorier and violent and the, the cult shit that I screen all the time, I would always find myself wanting to revisit both of these specials around Halloween time. Even into adulthood, I would still always work it in that I would watch one or both of those specials. Sometimes the same day, sometimes I would, you know, kind of make a double feature and I would put like, you know, maybe Garfield's Halloween Adventure in front of John Carpenter's The Fog. I kind of associate there's like a similarity there. Yes, I know that the ghost and the fog are lepers and Garfield has ghost pirates, so it's not the same, but it has to deal with stolen treasure and, you know, revenge and that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. I think that makes a good double feature. But I would just always feel like it couldn't be Halloween without watching those specials. And it comes back from my childhood because that was my nostalgia. If I ever wanted to feel that Halloween feeling, you know, be it July or April or even January, I would watch those specials and it would just take me back and just make me think of, you know, 
leaves turning brown and orange, everything being flavored pumpkin spice, you know, figuring out what my Halloween costume was, trick-or-treating, all that good stuff. Both of those specials are a real kind of comfort watch for me. And even over the years, I find myself revisiting them because it, it's these are probably two of the only things that really gives me real nostalgia and brings me back like that. There's a lot of movies, there's a lot of media, there's a, you know, there's a lot of things that I've seen and watched and like, yeah, that's kind of cool, but none of it takes me back quite like these two specials. Maybe the closest thing is the TV movie, The Midnight Hour, but I didn't see that growing up. I saw that later in life. Even into my adulthood, I was kind of obsessed with both these specials, but more so it's The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. There was something about that great pumpkin deity thing that I was just interested in. And I started, you know, just being a weirdo person into cult films, just wondering like, what happens if there's like some kind of Lovecraftian or a cult element to it? And at one point, when I wasn't in any bands and I was basically just, you know, I was playing banjo and trying to learn how to play that, it wasn't very good, but I kind of came up with this idea of starting a project called Pumpkin Patchwork where the kind of backbone of the project was around the worship of a deity known as the Great Pumpkin, or one like it. And I eventually recorded it. There's five songs. There's one about Sleepy Hollow. There's, you know, one about Robin Graves. There's a song called Haunted Hayride, where I never was happy with the vocals I recorded, but put together a five song EP and one of the songs was called Bury Me Beneath the Pumpkin Patch, which was obviously a nod to the Carter family who had a song called Bury Me Beneath the Willow Tree. And it kind of mixed the lore of that with It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Admittedly, that record's not very good, and I've never officially released it. I have played it for a few people, and you know, I've gotten some positive feedback, but it's kind of a weird, vulnerable record because it's one, it's directly me filtering in like my childhood nostalgia with you know a pretty silly in joke around a pumpkin god, and you know, it's also a weird mix. It's like me playing banjo over kind of like early swan so it's really sludgy and dirgy. I'm proud of it, but am I gonna let anyone hear it? I don't know. If enough people ask, maybe I will put it out. But that was just kind of the culmination of like taking my childhood nostalgia and just doing something weird with it. But even right now, when I think Halloween, I will always associate with those two specials because they were so integral to my childhood, integral into me becoming obsessed with Halloween and obviously opening the floodgates and allowing me to just dive right in into horror films and cult films. So that wraps up this episode of In the Mouth of Cinema Madness. Until next time, see you in the void. I got a popcorn ball. I got a fetch ball. I got a pack of gum. I got a rock.